is up, everyone. Oh my God, I forgot, to, I forgot to turn on my microphone again. Hopefully, I think you guys can hear me. You guys should be able to hear me. Um, I, I'm, we're, we're, today's, today's stream is gonna be a little bit different. We uh, are not gonna be doing any, any programming, at least I don't think so. Uh, we, instead, I, I feel that with Movie Otter, uh, now that now that the MVP is done, now that I'm I'm, uh, I'm pretty much just ready to to publish the the like kind of fast follow up fixes and like UI UX improvements I've made um, to just like that core MVP product, right? Um, oh man, the recorder. What do you mean? What recorder? What what did I what did I do? What did I miss? Did I mess something up? Um, now that those Things are just about ready to be wrapped up and deployed. I kind of want to take a take a minute, uh, take a at, at least a day, right? Uh, doing this today. Hopefully, I don't think it'll. Maybe it will bleed over until like Friday, uh, Friday stream. Um, but I want to try to take at least today and just kind of like revisit what it is we've we've done so far with Movie Otter. Um, oh. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah no that's good <laughs> with the bad recorder it's 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 superb it's so good um i want to take a second take a step back look at what we've done so far uh and actually just kind of look at what it is i'm gonna do with movie otter and where, where it goes from here right we have this basic product um i feel like i've been chasing the wrong thing with it uh, again, this is this this whole this whole stream. The whole reason why I started streaming was to kind of do this thing out in the open, so you guys could see uh, what it's like if you were like me, somebody who's never had to take a thing from an idea to a released product. Right? Uh, welcome. <laughs> um, so uh, I want to take a step back, look at what we're gonna do with Movie Outer, look at what I've done so far, the things that I like, the things that I don't like, uh, mistakes I think I've made things I can do to kind of alleviate some of those uh, issues and yeah, just kind of kind of go from there. Um, but first, <laughs> the thing I realize is uh, I need to kind of need to uh, install this this thing so that my computer can I can use my my drawing tablet with my computer. It is uh, what is uh, H s610 i'm using a tablet we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some note taking here uh in a second but i do need uh my tablet so that i can actually draw things it's kind of good kind of good um ooh, uh sure i don't i don't know what this is sure i don't know if i even need this i just want to It's just a driver, right? Yeah, it's just a driver. Sure, let's try it. Uh, well, let's close this. Install. Eh, don't save. Sure. Guys, I, I could be signing my life away. I have no idea. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen, right? Um. Okay, camera's back. That's good. Uh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, this is this is cool. So now. Whoa. Okay. So does this just go? No, it doesn't go off of just whatever. Uh, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to learn this thing. I haven't done this yet. Oh, okay, I can choose the display here. That's cool. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Apply, close. Okay, so now I'll be able to do drawing and stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and close this. Let's close this. Uh, I don't even think we need Chrome open. I'll just minimize it though, just in case. Uh, and let's launch Leonardo. Uh, so this is actually a very cool, oh, why is it? Uh, this is actually a very, very cool, um, ooh, that's how I can choose color, okay. I'm like slowly learning this. I haven't used this in like years. Um, so we draw there and how do we, where's, where's our shift button? 
Where is our shift button? What is the what is the shortcut for this down here? Cancel space. Oh, okay, perfect. Cool, cool. All right. Why aren't you using Opera? <laughs> why why would I want to use Opera? What do you mean? I don't know any. I actually, I don't think I've ever remotely used that browser. Um, this. This, this thing is called Leonardo. Um, I bought this, oh man, uh, what's it get? Leonardo? Yeah, it's like a drawing app thing for Windows. Uh, I bought it, bought it a long, long time ago. Uh, honestly, I, I, I think I bought it like close to three or four years ago. Uh, oh dude, it's, it's so, <laughs> it's an infinite canvas, right? So I can just keep keep scrolling and just keep scrolling. Infinite canvas, right? Which that alone is is pretty great, right? Um, but on top of that, it's a buy once. Like I, I I think I paid fifty bucks for it for a lifetime license. Uh, <laughs> why aren't you using Edge? You're on a you're on a Windows computer now. I know, I know. It's because I I don't hate myself and. Uh, no one wants to use Edge. Blech, it's gross. Don't. Actually, the new Chromium one apparently is, is pretty nice. Um, but I would never know because I'm not going to use it. Um, so I, uh, because I haven't used this in a while, uh, please excuse me because there's going to be definitely things that I just do wrong. But that's okay. Uh, if we just refresh everything, I'll undo everything down. Was this a shortcut? What's the shortcut for this? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, okay, the only thing I want to figure out though, really quick. Is, so there's a, a E2, ooh. That's actually nice. I actually, I actually really like that. What's the, what's this tool? B for brush, okay. E for erase, space to, to move. Okay, okay, I can figure this out. This, this isn't gonna be too bad. Um, cool, so, Edge, no way. Chrome coming, consuming too many, too much memory, man. The privacy issues definitely, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's for sure. Uh, ooh, wait, by the way, uh, ooh, the, the, the prime again? The prime again? The, the prime again? The, the free megan? The, I'm, I'm gonna go with the, the, oh man, I'm gonna go with the, the prim again. Is it the no? It's got to be the prime again. The prime again. Damn it! I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one you're saying yeah for. But thank you so much for the follow. Glad you're here. Uh, hopefully you uh, uh, aren't immediately turned off by my my terrible handwriting. Um, actually, it doesn't look that bad. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. There we go. Cool. I did it. I did a thing. Okay, enough playing around, guys. You guys are are, are are distracting me. Oh, there's a clear button right here. Huh, all right, well, that's good to know. Again, I'm using, I'm learning so much of this stuff. <laughs> Primogen, oh, okay, it's neither. Oh, okay, Primogen, I like it, I like it. Did not say that correctly, <laughs> but Optimus Prime, <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one too. Holy crap, also yesterday, Burgundy, Burgundy, Burgundy. No, just two Burgundies. Burgundy, Burgundy, thank you for the follow. I have no idea if you're here right now, but uh, your presence is not needed to be appreciated, okay? Um, let's give it a, a nice gray, shall we? That looks a little bit nicer. Okay, um, where are we at? So, so far, we've hit MVP, right? That's good. Uh, we have some things all the things that you know we, we kind of have we got lists we have um uh, we have our watch laters right we have uh our favorites fabs uh we have recommendations rec wait no rec go is there two m's Recommend oh god, oh god, recommendations. Is that right? Sure, that's right. We're gonna go with that right. Um 
still prefer Photoshop, uh, but I also went to school to use it. That's honestly, I wish had just, I just need to take the time to learn Photoshop. It is definitely one of those things uh, I want to learn. Uh, I plan to learn. And honestly, maybe I'll reach out to you one dark uh, and, and get some some tips and tricks at some point. Um, Cause I, I don't know how to use it at all. I know a little bit of Illustrator, right? I'm more familiar with Illustrator uh, out of all the Adobe suite things, but even then it's 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 not that great. Um, so we have these, uh, we have, uh, oh, you can log what you've watched, right? Um, and kind of separate from this, uh, we have movie imports, um, we have cast and crew or cast and characters. Sorry. I need to make sure I don't, I don't show the crew members, right? That's something that is important though. Um, what is it? We have, so one thing I'm thinking familiarity is huge. Oh, for sure. For sure. Imagine. Nice. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I don't think I've seen you before. Um, yes. Actually, maybe I have, I don't remember. Um, but yes, yes, familiarity is super, super important. Um, and honestly, I, like, I probably should just be doing this in Photoshop, right? Like that's a perfect opportunity to, to be practicing, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I feel like financially guilty that I pay for this software and have never used it really. <laughs> um, okay, this is our MVP. We have all these things. Uh, Honestly, if I'm, if I'm gonna be very, very honest, I think what I have in the MVP is a very, very good MVP, right? It is a usable app. Honestly, I use it. I do honestly use it. Um, and obviously I was like the core demographic for why I built it, right? Like I, I had me in mind when I was building it. Um, it's it's very easy to quickly find a movie, to log it, to you know uh, add it to a watch later, everything like that. Excuse me. Um, but I feel I might have gone in the wrong direction. Um, I think, you know, in, in in the whole movie otter world, right? I think I focused too much on the movie and not enough on the otter. And by that, I mean, I think I focused too much on trying to make it a really good movie app um, and not a really good, like, social tool social tracking tool right um and so i think i want to take a step back now and actually uh come up with a list of things i can do that would make it more again just kind of focused on the otter part of movie otter right i want this to be a, a like, very nice companion app i want it to be uh I, I, i'm not trying to compete with imdb i'm not trying to be you know anything like that um not trying to be a Rotten Tomatoes when it comes to reviews or reactions or anything like that. Although I do want to add reactions. Um, I want it to be uh, a staple app that people just have. They know it's there, uh, secure in it and what it does, it does well. And yeah, and just kind of go from there. So, uh, so for example, I think one thing I want to do, and it pains me to do this. It really, it really does pain me. Um, but I think I want to um, get rid of our movie otter movies um, and instead just source the movie database. Um, I thought about this and while I think the way that I am, like I said, lazily importing uh, the the movies into the database as people look them up and they use them and things like that. Uh, and, and eventually I'll have a lot of movies in the database and things will be fine and it'll work right and I can search against it and everything like that. Um, I think, unfortunately, for the time being, as a, as a one-person team building this thing, right, I think that is too much. Too, it's trying to tackle too much, right? The movie database, they have the movies already, right? And, and, it, and it's, it's tried and true, People have been using their data, their database, their APIs and stuff for, for a long time. They have movies and better, and honestly, most important is they have, they keep it up to date, um, right? Wor worst case, I would hate to, to have, you know, all these movies imported into to our database, but then 
they just immediately you know fall on their date you know like the I don't know images aren't being added or, or if a new movie is announced you know like like somebody had mentioned before in, in chat that like you know there's the new spider-man it's a spider-verse sequel right you know i didn't know that and if you go there now that the dummy if the, the information they have on that profile that movie's profile is, is dummy information right um but in the, in the movie outer world when that gets updated if we've already imported it we we won't get that new information so um i think it would lead to a better uh i think it would lead to a better user experience a better more value for the user by just switching over to using just sourcing all movie data from the movie database um i think that's gonna be one thing i think the second thing i need to do is focus on the watch parties um i think i think the watch parties is arguably the thing that really makes movie otter cool and unique and different from all the other services right um obviously there's you know stuff like like um uh what is it uh netflix party right that's a thing netflix party um you can watch netflix with a friend everything like that right that's cool but my thing is this only works for netflix um what i would want to do I would actively, I guess, be trying to take on Netflix Party, but not just Netflix Party, right? Like there's shows that are on Netflix and on YouTube and on Hulu. And I think it'd be cool to not have to pigeonhole people to have to be on any one service in order for them to play something in sync. Um, or maybe you own the movie, right? Maybe you you own it and you just want to play it now on, you know, whatever, wherever you bought it, Voodoo or, or whatever, right? Um, I think making a platform agnostic, like player syncing extension tool thing uh, could be really cool. And then tying that again into your your log history, your want to watch and, you know, querying everyone who's attending a party, trying to find a movie that, you know, no one's seen and, and everyone wants to see it kind of thing. Uh, I think that is where I can get really, really, uh, I can be really, really beneficial to a user, right? Um, so, uh, yes, I think focusing on watch parties, I think, I think we're definitely going to need to do like some cleanup and refactoring. Um, I need to make it easier for sharing, make sharing, uh, easier, right? Also, how do I, how do I? I don't want, how do I do this? Smooth? No, I don't want, I don't want smooth. I want, I want to take away the pressure sensitivity. I don't know how I do that. Uh, file, no, settings. There you go. Pen pressure. I just turn it off. Um. What if I just want to turn it off? Hmm. I think there's a way for me to turn it off. That's very unfortunate. At least not easily. Am I missing something? I know you guys probably don't know what this is. Also, I'm, I'm breaking things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Paint. Smaller breath, big breath. Oh, okay, that's cool. No, I don't want that now. Uh, I just wanna. Maybe, maybe it's a part of the tool. No, no, these are smudges and things. Line. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool, but that's not what I want either. I, this is this is half me learning things and then another half me just playing around trying to figure this out <laughs> uh this is called leonardo um uh, hey Zed, you control your stream quality because last time i was watching it's smoothly on 720 but now there's only 1080 there's only 1080 hot 
What? I've never seen, I've never even heard of it being locked to a, a higher resolution. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me take this over here. Let me see. Let me see if I can figure this out. Hmm. Stream manager. And again, I know this is, this is a whole nother thing for, for this. It's trying to do, I don't, I'm not doing anything actively limiting the, the quality. But you're right, it's just auto and then 1080. That's very strange. That's very, very strange. I have no idea why that is. Um, I might have to look into it after stream. But that's very strange, yeah. Oh, yeah, it could be, it could be in Streamlabs. Let's see, let's see. Output. Uh, well, I'm just using the simple, I'm not doing anything, anything crazy. Stream? Nope. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I'm not doing anything super crazy. I'll have to look into that. Ah, okay. So it, it might just not be a me thing. Getting a choice of quality is actually a privilege. <laughs> oh man. I think it just breaks on some streams. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And yeah, yeah, this is just Leonardo. Um, do you have to be a partner to control your quality? I don't think so. That'd be really strange if you did. I would, God, I would hope not. That'd be, that'd be very silly. I, I really would hope not. Huh. All right, well, hey, I mean, I, honestly, I'd, I'd rather, I guess, stream at higher quality than lower quality, but I guess it's not ideal if, if it's like buffering for you or if you're, you know, if, if on the receiving side, you know, the internet isn't that great. Um, sorry for that. That's a bummer. Um, but it's a toss up for affiliate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would, you would think that Especially now with Mixer out of the way, Twitch would just throw money at making everything as good as possible on Twitch, but guess not. Guess not. Um, cool. So, uh, oh, also, how did this, uh, making, I want to make showing, I want to make sharing easier. Share ring. Oh God, this is so bad. Oh, that's right. I never finished the, the whole thing. Oh, wait. <gasps> Oh, no, <laughs> that is the opposite of what I want. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, there we go. Okay. Fixed it. I saved it. I did it. Everything's good now. See, it's all uniform. Cool. Thanks me. Um, yes. Thank you, Imagine, for, for dropping that, that Discord command in chat. We do have a Discord and why am I breaking things? <gasps> Guys. I just realized that my pen is conductive, so I, I don't need to touch. Oh, guys, I just learned something about my pen. Sorry, I'm like in amazement here. Uh, if I hit the button, if I hover the pen near, near close enough to the board and the way that I hold my, my pen, um, so I, I hold it with like my finger basically glazed, you know, gliding over the tablet. Uh, but if I, if I hover my pen, right, and you got the little, little nib there, if I hover it, but my finger presses in the pen, it registers it as having written. And, uh, so I can like do a whole bunch of mistakes here without even realizing it. So I will try to try to be better. Uh, most pens are like that. I had no idea. This is my first, this is my first tablet pen. I have no idea how they normally go. This is like the coolest thing ever. I got it for my birthday, uh, and, and finally trying to just give it a whirl. So. Uh, Cerebro, I may, I may have to, to, to hit you about some, some tips and tricks, uh, cause I'm sure you've used a lot of tablets. Um, but yes. So one thing I want to do, let's see, I want to change over trying to store movies in our own database, just source out to the movie database. Um, I want to focus on watch parties. I think, uh, I think watch parties can be the big thing with movie otter. Um, 
I think Netflix Party has proven that there is like a market for that, right? Like people like being able to watch something with friends, right? They like being able to sync up with friends. Honestly, I, I do this. I do this, right? I'm someone who every every other day or so, I I, hit, I meet up with some friends and, and we're currently watching through Bleach, the anime. We're currently just watching through that together, right? Um, one of my friends have never seen it. I've seen it. And I'm just down to watch it again with them. But it's like kind of a hassle. You like you get on a phone call or, or like a, a you know messenger chat or something like that, and we're like, hey, all right, we're all gonna press go on the same time. You know, we're gonna press play. All right, I'm starting it at this timestamp. You know, and then we all press play and everything's going. And then it's like, you know what? We we can make this better. We can do this. Um, I want my hundred twenty dollar Apple pencil to have an eraser. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, who has added that to their site? Dude, yeah, like, and honestly, yeah, and that's another good point is that there's there's a lot of companies who like, they realize like, oh, this is something that people want, right? Like, I, I had no idea Hulu had added it. Um, Hulu Sync Play, I imagine something along those lines. Add times not in sync, sure, right? Uh, you know, hey, it, it there's watch series, right? There's so many solutions to that. Uh, well, I don't know why I'm clicking on random things. This is how you, this is how you, you this is how you, you break down. This is how you get a, a virus um, on r slash long distance. That it's actually very, very accurate. It's a very good use case. Uh, Hulu watch. There's a Hulu watch party. Is it really? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Hulu watch party. <laughs> That's awesome. Why, why do you go away? Why do you take forever? Look at that. Yes, that is that is the exact thing, right? Um, and I think that this is this is great, right? They they are even acknowledging that this is a need that people have uh, for a tool. Um, yeah, that's another thing. The, the girlfriend has the same problem. Yeah, somebody just goes on Discord and they stream the screen to the rest, right? That is that is also something that people do. I know um, Jedi's he's he shares something else before yeah he's the the so cold share you know you log in with discord and then one person just kind of streams it with friends and everything like that um that is that is not bad right that is definitely doable and 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 in some cases you you might even need to do that just from a you know logistical technical standpoint right maybe somebody doesn't have hulu and so they can't join a watch party or they don't have netflix and so they can't do netflix party um i would i i think a cool solution and, and the solution I'm leaning towards is, um, like I said, having, you know, a, a, a cross platform sync player, you know, pl player syncing, player syncing, right? Um, where say you watch, you, you join a party and you own the DVD or, or like, you know, you, you've bought it off of iTunes or something, somebody else is watching it on Netflix, another person is watching it on a Hulu, and somebody else has rented it off of YouTube, right? Uh, currently, there is, no, I don't think there is a single solution that will allow you all to play your media by the legal means that you have access to, right? Um, easily, right? You can call, every, everyone can call each other up and do things like that. Um, but I think, I think it would be cool to try and focus and cater to those groups of people. Uh, I don't know. That's that's just my thought. What, what do you guys think? Am I am I being too crazy? Am I am I uh, overzealous? Am I just trying to do too much? Um, you know? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Catching up on chat. Uh, that doesn't count as but doesn't that count as legally distributed? Yeah. Yeah. I think I think what what Jedi shared and, and other things like that, like, right, using anyone who's using Discord or, or jumping in a call or something like that. I think technically that is, you have to imagine that's not legal. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know, but I just kind of have to imagine that it's not legal. Um, it's pretty much rabbit. Yeah. Um, so, and, and so what I want to do is I want to try to make it legal. I want to try to make it uh, easy. Um, I think I think having this again this cross-platform watch 
you know, watch list could be cool, right? If, if, if you're on Netflix and you add something to your watch list, um, we can, I'm sure we can have an extension that like listens for that and, and also adds it to your movie on our watch list and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess ultimately what I'm trying to say is I think I want to build something that supplements the things that people are already doing and trying to do and just makes it easier, makes it better, make that, make that experience of watching stuff with friends easier. Um, another uh now the side effect of, of what some of this stuff would do as well uh if, if we get rid of the whole idea of our own movies right and we're just sourcing the movie database um this means whoops this means whoops this means right that we immediately get movies uh tv actors crew we get all that data now for free and so we can technically pipe that back into making the whole movie experience a lot better um you know like i said i wanted to do stuff about like you know tracking stats and giving people kind of a breakdown of their viewing habits and things like that and, and if we're tracking it through the movie database uh that becomes much like there is so much more details that i can get into than things like i can find out what you know genres you tend to like what actors you tend to like what studios you tend to gravitate towards um i think i think doing that kind of stuff would be better and easier uh after switching to sourcing from the movie database um but yeah but yeah as far as as far as like the whole sharing and and watch party-ness to it all um, I see, I see myself having to make some kind of, of, you know, browser extension, right? Um, there's no way Netflix is going to give you access to their API. There's no way, I don't even know if Hulu has a public API to begin with, let alone one that you can easily get access to. Um, YouTube, I'm sure they don't, I can't, I can only imagine that YouTube, they have their, their API to their content, right? Like you can search for videos and movies and stuff to rent. Um, but I, I don't see a world where they, you know, are, are letting you set up web hooks for when a user plays or not, you know, that's just like too much. There's, there's no way they would do that. Um, so yeah, I think, I think going with, uh, a browser extension is going to be the way to go. Um, and I think also that, that kind of, you know, that does give you some extra, extra pros and cons, right? So if we, you know, look at our extension, uh, if we look at pros, pros and cons, right? Again, th this might, sorry in advance for people, this, this totally might be a, a very boring stream, but this is, I think something that, we, that, that I need to do. I need to kind of decide on and and look at things and evaluate where we are and what we need to do. Um, so, uh, browser extension. So building a browser extension. Um, I think one big pro is uh, we can, whoops, hook into services, right? Um, when you finish watching something on Hulu uh, or you finish watching something on Netflix, we can detect that, you know, the player has reached the end time. We can automatically log that you've watched a thing and put that in your log and, and, and you know, auto remove things from your watch later once you've watched them and things like that. Um, the con, there's a lot of services, right? Uh, I think that's an immediate con. You know, there's Netflix, there's Hulu, there's YouTube, there's Voodoo, there's iTunes, there's Amazon Prime. Um, there's just owning something, right? Um, obviously, not all of these methods will be able to, to, to hook into, um, if, if, if at all ever, but, you know, definitely not in the beginning. Um, and so maybe, maybe the initial, you know, way of doing things is just trying to ha work with both maybe Netflix and Hulu right start with two services or netflix and youtube or something like that and then build from there um uh i think 
Another thing is, you know, user adoption. Or, I guess that would be a negative, actually. Um, user adoption, right? Uh, outside of, you know, the staples, you know, an ad blocker, a password manager, um, something like that. How often do people, how often are people going to be willing to install an extension for something like this? Um, I think most extensions that I know of, they either, they either, I, I guess they do fall into one of two camps, right? They, they either save you money, right? So you have something that is, uh, you know, letting you know about deals. There's like the auto Amazon smile extension that'll like forward you to a small Amazon and help, you know, donate to charity. There's things like honey, um, you know, things like, that. I guess one of three categories. So they, one, they save you money. Um, two, they are like a some sort of usability tool, right? So if you're a developer, maybe the React, you know, extension that helps you debug a website. Or if you're a designer, there's like the color picker extensions that let you choose any color or align things and things like that, right? Um, and then third is is everything else just kind of falls. I feel like under you know nice to have or or uh, you know productivity kind of category right you're, you're that's your password managers your your ad blockers your you know things like that uh i'm curious and i have no idea if we can even if this information is available do we do we know kind of netflix parties uh netflix party user count how many user count how many people are using there's no way there, there's no way Join over 10 million people and use Netflix Party to link up. There's 10 million people using Netflix Party? There's not 10 million. There's no... What? Oh, well, all right. Well, I guess that just totally, totally throws that away. 10 million people. Uh, Ooze, what's up, dude? Um... Let's see, let's see. Yo, David, uh, people will be logged into their account, so I don't think you have an illegal, but if one person streams, right? Yeah, 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 that can get really dicey. Uh, hey, just came here to check up on you, what's going on? Gonna build my newsletter that is going tomorrow morning. Gonna watch some of your IG and colleagues' podcast, Game Scoop. Nice, dude. I love Game Scoop. I love Game Scoop. Those guys are awesome. Damon's a fan favorite. Sam's just an angel. Actually, uh, what we have, we have, um, uh, we have a, a rotating chair and then, then I don't, I don't know who else has been on lately. I feel like actually with the, like, you know, work from home stuff, we've kind of been like rotating people in, out, in and out a lot more. Mm. Thank you, bot. Got to hydrate or dehydrate. Tina, Sam, Damon, and Justin. Ah, yes, that's true. I guess, I guess. Tina has become kind of a staple in Justin, of course, Justin. Uh, yeah, they're they're all pretty great. They're all pretty great. See, like look, look, look at this. Hold on, this is a fun category. <laughs> that is a category, apparently. It's just fun. So, yeah, I think, I think, man, I think yeah, going with Netflix party. It's probably gonna be. Going with this style of kind of comparison is probably going to be the way to go, right? Does Netflix party actually, is their only goal is to, to help you sync up with players, right? Like you don't, you might have to log in in order to find and join parties and stuff. Um, but I don't think they, they don't have any like community management things, do they? Seconds right on the Netflix websites, watch thousands, sync Netflix shows in HD. Let's see. Yep, it's chat. I here you go. Let's let's go to let's go to FAQ. Which device is browser installing on Chrome extension? How to host a party. What does this look like? Uh, click on the share, which redirects you to select the Netflix show, the red. In the top area of Chrome on a chat room. Uh, 
how many people can join a party? Okay. So it, but it doesn't look like. Copy the share link. Ah, okay. Hold on, we're getting somewhere. Make sure you're on the main account. Select the show and make sure it is playing. URL should look like this. Then click on the Netflix party and click host. Ah. Okay, see this is different. This is this is something I think we could do better, right? Um I'm actually very surprised they don't have anything like that already. Um I think it totally should make sense that, you know, when when you know, again, our whole thing is, is going to be building up to these watch parties, right? Like you, you ahead of time, you've planned like, hey, we're going to have this this watch party. We're going to get everyone together. Uh, people can, you know, you can send out like invites beforehand instead of just kind of sharing a link. And then once the invite is sent out, then anyone, you know, when the time comes, everyone just kind of joins. Um, sure, maybe we can we can add like impromptu things and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. Is Netflix party free? Yeah, all right, it's 100% free, so that's probably why they don't do do too much stuff. Um, man, yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards... Okay, so maybe, maybe thanks to, thanks to Netflix party, maybe this is less of an issue than I thought, right? Maybe people, are fine with installing an extension in order to to you know get some usability from from stuff like this i mean they have 10 they really have 10 million users right like actively constantly using it and not just not just 10 million installs across all browsers right um you know i i, I alone i have like four browsers right uh maybe i'm an outlier maybe i'm not you know your average consumer but you know uh you can have multiple browsers and you know, that can definitely inflate that count, but even then 10 million is, is a lot. So I, I have to imagine that that they've at least opened the idea. They've made it easier to, to kind of go that route with installing an extension in order to like do something with other people. Um, so that, that's actually, that actually makes me feel really good. Not gonna lie. Um, I think, what, what? Found a leak. Found a leak. I wanna I wanna select. How do am I not able to select? Oh, well, hold on. Okay. Okay. I actually think this belongs over here. Uh, I don't know how to select all. Oh, this app is, is getting better by the second. Um, I actually think users then are going to be able to, to adopt pretty quickly and be just fine. Um, haven't looked at that. Um, I think one thing that would be an issue is server load, right? Um, obviously if, if what I want is people logging in and, and installing things and everything like that. But if we're, if we are able to, you know, check across all the certain, you know, check across Netflix and Hulu as they just kind of watch things and then track those stuff, um, it could be a lot for us to handle, right? That could be a lot of information that we, we then have to, to parse through and everything. Um, it's worth, it's worth mentioning at least. Um, it's worth mentioning at least. I don't know if it's a full con or not, but it's worth mentioning. We have to build it, right? That can be an issue. Um, I have no idea. Uh, tech, right? I know, I know an extension is just more web technology, right? It's just still JavaScript, CSS, HTML. Um, I would imagine you can involve some React, right? Uh, I imagine you can, you know, have your own component library and stuff like that. I don't know if Firebase 
in Firebase run in an extension? It, it's just JavaScript, so I imagine it has to. But what about logging in? Can you log in with in this extension and it just behave fine? It just behaves like normal. I don't know. These are all things I would have to look into. Um, this upkeep, you know, uh, so I'm coming up with a lot of cons, I'm going to be honest. Um, let's see. Uh, maintenance. Main. Ten, you know what? Upkeep. There we go. Upkeep. Um, if Netflix changes their website or if Hulu changes the structure of their HTML and things like that, um, I would need to, you know, make sure I am keeping the extension up to date with all that stuff. Now, I imagine they don't go changing things that often or, or willy nilly, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm sure they have to be doing things intelligently and, and, and with some sort of, you know, announcements beforehand somewhere right whether it's a message board whether it's just on the newsletter or something like that uh, I imagine that has to be displayed somewhere but the, I don't know let's see let's see um the pros um you can uh sync actions right so, like I said, if, if you finish watching something on Netflix, we can hook right into that. We can immediately flag that it's something you've watched. We can import. Uh, we could possibly even import stuff from other places. Like if you, obviously Netflix already has like their, your, you know, you watch later kind of thing. What if we just imported all those entries, you know, at the click of a button from a user and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, if a browser is updated, you have to as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You gotta keep up with the browser APIs and stuff. Um, oh man, I'm stupid. I thought it was Thursday already. My newsletter is on Friday only. Oh, dude, no worries. Don't, don't say that. Don't be mean to my friend Ooze. All right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, yeah. I guess my question, my question is between, so the next, the, the, the next two big things that I want to do, right? Uh, one is the, uh, watch parties, right? Um, and the other is, um, uh, I guess you, you, uh, trends maybe a good way to put it right like your viewing habit habits is, is maybe even a better way of putting it right um ha habits is it two b's and habits i don't know we're gonna say it's two b's and habits that doesn't look right it looks like hobbits i don't think there's two b's in here hold on hold on habits that looks better that looks better i don't know if it looks right but it looks better. You know what? And this is this is my uh, my high school brain is kicking in. We're just gonna change the word. All right, trends. There you go. Def one B, bro. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm a programmer. I never said I was I was smart at the words. All right. Um, but between adding watch parties and focusing on trends, um, I don't know which is more important, right? Uh, trends can be totally easy to set up, right? That that immediately gives us something that is useful from like a, a monetization standpoint, right? Um, you know, I've already said that that movie audit is something I eventually want to build in, kind of like a pro member tier kind of thing, like, right? you know, obviously they'll, they'll always have like a, you know, always have like a free tier where people can jump in and, and use some of the basic features, but I want to try to think of these value add things that I can I can implement um, to eventually make money off of it, right? Like I would love to work on this like a, a full time job or, or even just like a major side hustle kind of thing. Um, and I think trends definitely leads towards that. But watch parties leads to just more user adoption. You know that gets people actually 
you know, signing up that gets them logging on, that gets them tracking and, and logging and sharing and things like that. Um, and I, my gut, my gut, my gut is telling me that the watch parties is the, the thing to work on first. Um, just from a, I think as people watch, right, uh, you know, assuming that we have set things up to be logged, um, we could always go back and calculate trends later, right? Um, I think maybe there's not a point in trying to, you know, blitz, get trends working if people don't have movies that they've watched yet, you know? I think if we make watching movies fun and interactive and easy, uh, they're more likely to watch and then they're more likely to have a history. They're more likely to then be curious about that history and, and want to see their habits. That's my thought, at least. Your gut is telling you movie honor needs dark mode. That's true. Let, let's, we got to put that over here. Dark mode. And obviously this is uh, a three star feature, all right? Definitely need that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think, well, I think what I think, gut reaction. Gut reaction, uh, roadmap, right? Let's look at our roadmap. Let's try to make one here. Ah! Roadmap. Uh, I think first thing I need to do is switch to the movie database as a source, right? Um, I think while you know, I know some people like Jedi and, and other like kind of key users when I look up stats, right? They've been, they've been, you know, you guys have been using it. We've been getting, people have been visiting the site. Um, I still have not like, you know, I've never, I didn't put down a credit card or anything like that for, for ads or, you know, and on, honestly, it's, it's totally my fault. I've been, I've been really bad with promoting and marketing movie outer for, for what we have right now. Um, I, you know, tweeted it about it a little bit. Uh, when we launched the MVP and stuff like that. But even since then, like people have been finding it and, and kind of coming to it, which is all amazing. Um, but I haven't, I haven't put any like real resources or, or effort or time into marketing it. Um, so honestly, may, maybe, <laughs> maybe that should be number one. Um, why does it cut off? Why doesn't it just intelligently also, why are my lines so bad? Okay, okay, there we go. Um, so number one, market. Marketing. Marketing. Uh, advertising, All right? Uh, number two, I think we should probably switch uh, to movie database as a source. Um, and, and with that, right, uh, maybe as a, as a B, um, I think we need to refactor uh, data structures, right? Obviously, we're going to have to do this a little bit with using this as a source, but even then, I think there's still enough things that it is worth calling out. Um, ooh, lot logic, dude, what's up? And, and... One, ooh, Nate, hmm, Nate, 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 lift 151. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, th thank you so much for the follow, dude. Um, don't you use the movie database as a source now? Yeah, technically, yes. We, sorry. So we, I'm using the movie database as a source now. Yes. But it's like, you know, if this is. Uh, you know, the uh, TMDB, um, this is Movie Otter, right? Like these are our databases in the clouds, right? And then a user comes on their cell phone, right? 
and they go to movieauto.com. We go here, right? We say, hey, does this movie exist? If yes, then we come right back. Um, if the movie doesn't exist, right? We go here, the movie doesn't exist. Then we go to movie database, right? We get the movie, we get it here, you know, and then finally we come back here. So it, and then from here, the next person who comes, they'll just immediately fetch it from our own databases because we've now imported it. The movie is in there and everything like that. Um, users never actually, technically they are, but but you can basically look at it as users are never interacting with the movie database. It's our backend serverless functions that are doing all the heavy lifting and, and referencing, uh, importing things from the movie database, stuff like that. Um, what I am suggesting that I, I change it to is to just remove this holistically, right? And so we will have, sorry, all my colors are, are getting a, a little crazy now, right? Um, but instead, what I am suggesting, we, we clear some of this, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Get rid of this, right? Is instead, we have it more of a this kind of setup. Um, and I guess this technically would be coming back and forth as well. So, you know, the user is able to browse movies and, and see all the information. Oh my God, my, my camera's all covered. <laughs> oh man, that looks silly. What happens if I, if I do that? There we go. Okay. At least you can see me a little bit better. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. So, so users would be able to browse movies and, and see movies and cast and characters and all of that, would just go straight between, you know, the user's device and the movie database. Um, but then if they actually, now that I think about it, um, and then if, you know, a user saves a movie, right? They mark it as a favorite. Um, they would send that request to, you know, our movie outer servers, our movie outer database, right? They would add that entry and that might, you know, fetch some metadata from the movie or, and whatnot, or, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, but honestly, not, not that I think about it, even this, this is, th we would talk to the movie database if we're, whenever we do like our, our trends and stat tracking and stuff, right? Because we need to then, you know, given the ID, we need to see like, oh, okay, what's the genre for this movie? Who's the actors and blah, blah, blah. Um, but for the vast majority of stuff, it'll actually just kind of look like this. Um, you know, hey, I like this movie. I want to save it. Okay, cool. We'll just save this ID. You like this ID, whatever that ID means. Um, we'll kind of go from there. Um, logic looks like a cool, chill place to learn and grow. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, t today we are, um, I'm really brainstorming and trying to just kind of, uh, see, see what all it is. Ah, see what all, all the mistakes I've made so far with this project. I, I shouldn't say mistakes. That's, that's a very negative way to look at it. Um, we are, I'm trying to walk through just some of the decisions that I've made to get to MVP state. Um, right. Like we've, we've launched our MVP. Uh, it is usable. It is something I actually enjoy using. Um, I am a very, you know, biased use case, but, uh, I think what I have so far is actually a very solid product. It's a good foundation. It is a MVP minimum viable product. Um, but I want to make it better. And before I just go making things, I want to take a second to take a step back and kind of analyze and see what it is I can do that would be making it better. Um, any reason for that change? Yes. Um, kind of, kind of, uh, uh I didn't really touch on it too much here, but um, as much as <laughs> I think I had programmer brain for a lot of it, uh, a lot of the stuff I did right, um, uh, th there are definitely some some very very good pros to importing the data into our own database. Uh, who's right? You 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 have consistency, right? Every user is going to see the same movie data regardless of when they look at the movie because it's what's in our database. Um, we know that we have, uh, us, uh, information, right? Um, if, if for whatever reason, right, if the movie database goes down, um, you know, we will lose access to our data, right? Our source can just 
vanish from underneath us. Um, that and that's kind of scary. Uh, you know, having our own data in our own database kind of alleviates that, but not quite as much as I don't think. I don't think the pros of doing that weigh the benefits we would get and the speed improvements that we would get from development um, by just hitting the movie database directly, um, right? Like I said, I, uh, I kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but like if we're if we have our clients, you know, our, 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 our website, our app or whatever we, it is we make, if we have that just talking to the movie database correct, like directly and not having to worry about going through our own database and worrying about our own IDs for, for movies and actors and TV shows and episodes and seasons and things like that, right? Then immediately, immediately, like just with nothing changes. We now have access to movies, TV show, actors, cast and crew, producers, showrunners, studio heads, right? Um, we just have so much more information um, that we can display and, and use to help people. We can use it for, we can, yeah, we can use it to show people to help them make better decisions, right? Um, like I said, the whole idea of like having trends and stuff, uh, that plays a big part in it. We can see what you've watched and get those nitty gritty details about a movie or about a, a TV show or about whatever um, and kind of present that information to you, you know? So think, think, besides hydrating or dehydrating, I think that is, that is, I think that is honestly one of the biggest reasons to change it. Um, also, it's just, it's it's been more difficult than I expected trying to keep movie data in sync, right? Um, the user experience hasn't been that great, right? The first time you go to a movie, which in the very beginning is gonna be very often, you know, um, it takes a, we, we are lazily importing movies into our database anyways. Um, so it's not like right out of the gate, there was all this just vast information about movies. Um, I think what I had originally set out to do was cool in theory, but just wasn't, it wasn't the right choice for the job kind of thing. Uh, Dota 2 Attitude, what's up my dude? How's it going? Um, yeah, yeah. So, and of course we need dark mode. That is that is a big thing. Asked for by one, uh, one dark. Trying to get my website working with SSL, easiest thing ever. Oh, I can sense the sarcasm. <laughs> what are you using? Because uh, I, I've only had to deal with SSL for for this project that I'm working on now, um, and just because of because of what I'm using for hosting and stuff, it was actually breeze like. Uh, movie Otter pretty much Movie Otter Firebase pretty much just took care of everything for me uh, The only girl in the game Hold on I missed a couple follows The only girl in the game Fantastic name Thank you so much for the follow And Logic Dude th thanks for sticking around Gl Glad you were impressed with my uh, Terrible handwriting And dumb ideas ah! So Glad to have you Primogen is in here Yeah Yeah or, or prime primogen, sorry, prime. Oh, I forget. I think it was primogen. Some some sarcasm there on AWS. Nice, uh, man. A part of me wishes I had, it just took like a course or something to learn a lot of the AWS solutions and things. There's so many. There's so many. Um, but cool. Back to our roadmap. So we need to do. I need to do some marketing and advertisement, right? I think. Uh, spending 50 to 100 bucks on some Facebook ads and you know I think Twitter actually might be a little too expensive I'll just start with Facebook I hear that's pretty easy and affordable maybe some Google ads um, but you know spend I don't know 50 to 100 bucks throw some ads out there uh, see if more people come see how they react to it see if they stick stick to using it if they recommend it to friends right put some some uh you know do some some i don't know tracking on twitter or something about like you know movie outer mentions and stuff like that uh just to kind of get a sense for hey is is this project actually something that that people are going to use does it have feet does it have legs 
how much viability is there to it. Um, I can love it all I want, and and honestly, if it stopped right now, technically I would still just continue to use this app. And so this this I think this step right here, uh, step one, is going to really help me determine if this needs to be have more investment even put into this project, or if or if I should just move on to to the next thing. Let's talk data structures. Oh boy. Uh, I think I think online advertisement is a very very that is a that is a thing with a large ceiling. Um, but as far as I know, uh, it is you can get started with as little as fifty to one hundred bucks. Um, I would not do a lot. I would be targeting hyper focused to like very very you know select users kind of thing. But yeah. Um, I'm no, yeah, yeah, I, I am no sequel. I am I'm not a back end uh, engineer, right? My my forte, my, my specialty is front end. Uh, so in order to just kind of get up and running pretty quickly uh, with with minimum DevOpsy kind of knowledge, uh, I decided to just go with Firebase and, and with Firestore, they use a, a no no SQL database. Um, eventually, I'll I'll spend some time and, and learn, you know, a, a SQL based. Uh, Thing, right I'll, I'll learn I kind of want to learn Postgres it's what we use at, our, at my day job so that'd be that'd be cool to, to get some experience with that under my belt yeah yeah um, building with react uh, building with TypeScript actually I think uh, not not to you know sh shut you up or, or because I don't want you asking questions but um, oh no that is the opposite of, of what's happening but uh, I did. I want to make sure I did put this little blurb in. Um, yeah. So I, I, I touch a lot of things. I try to dabble with a lot of different tech and stuff. Uh, but front end is, is my sort of comfort zone, right? That's what I, I primarily do. It's what I do for my day job. Um, React. Uh, I personally like using TypeScript. Uh, and for this project, I'm using Firebase. So yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't heard of Clubhouse. Clubhouse is nice. It's uh, it is not a design product like Sketch. It is, it's a like product management tool. So it's like for tracking tickets and epics and bugs and features and assigning points and assigning, you know, tasks to different people and stuff like that. Uh, you kind of get get more of that with Clubhouse, uh, whereas Sketch is Sketch is more. Yeah, it's like Jira. Yeah, exactly like that. Um, yeah, where Sketch is, is more compatible to, to Figma and stuff like that. Um, sorry, give me one second. Um, yes, yes, it's like Jira. I use Sketch, I actually use, we use, ooh, I think technically our designers at, at my day job, they have Sketch licenses. Uh, I personally am just using Figma, right? It's free. It's totally usable. It, it fits all my needs. Um, kind of, kind of go from there. But, but yeah. Um, yeah. So, I think once we get a little bit more kind of marketing, advertising, seeing if this is a valid idea, right? If this is something that has legs for people and and, and merit stuff like that, uh, maybe then actually is when I and I switch to trying to use the movie database as a source, right? Um, if people aren't, I don't know, at least interested in the product, um, it probably doesn't make, if people aren't, if a lot of people aren't, or enough people aren't actively interested in the idea and the product, um, it would pro it would probably be a bad indie hacker, right? Trying to build this thing that, that becomes a product that you can't make money off of, right? Uh, I would probably not be doing a good job at that role, shoveling more time and energy into something that, that probably won't make a return, right? And it does, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. It definitely does take time to kind of, to kind of, uh, you know, get your footing and, and, you know, get a, get a base of users and stuff like that. Um, that's totally true. That is that is totally valid. Uh, I am I don't know how much time to give something though. That is that is something I'm trying to trying to learn now. 
Do I have alpha testers? I don't have. Um, I don't have alpha testers in that sense. I mean, I, I've been everything I've been doing so far has been pretty much out in the open on the stream here, actually. Um, so people from the stream have definitely signed up and and uh, used it and everything like that. No, it is not a game. It is. Um, it's this project I'm I'm working on called Movie Otter. Uh, it is. You can go there now. You can sign up. You can start using it. I I am biased, but I actively use it um, primarily for like tracking movies and keeping track of my what I want to watch, what I did watch, uh, things like that. And there are other things that I want to add to it. Um, and again, before we we go any further with these features and stuff like this, um, I'm trying to take a take a step back and evaluate where we are and where we can go, and what makes sense. I have a poker app that I use in a study group I run. Nice, nice. Hopefully, hopefully you're making you're making money with that. I can only imagine. Uh, charge your friends just you know two dollars to get in, five bucks a, a minimum buy-in or something like that. Most of my feedback is what the f is this? That is that is fair. That is fair feedback, dude. Um, I'd want to refactor the data structures, right? Um. There's, you know, lists. Everything basically comes down to being a list right now. Uh, there's, you know, uh, favorites, uh, watch later, logs, blah, blah, blah. Um, notifications. Uh, that would need refactoring. Um, recommendations, which I guess technically is a part of notifications. So even that, yeah, like right now we, we pretty much just have two data structures or two, two, maybe not data structures. It's the right word because that means something in tech land, right? In development. Um, but I'm thinking of it more as maybe data models. There we go. We would refactor our data models. So our list and notifications, um, I think uh, we would need to add some things. So, you know, new models. Uh, we would need to add groups. We would need to add uh, events. Uh, and, I, and really, I guess just to get started, this would probably be the only two things we need to add, right? Everything else can just be a part of lists or a part of notifications, right? Like if you get a, uh, in a uh, you know an event invite, that would be that would fall in our notification category, just like how recommendations fall into notifications and stuff like that. Um, it's a website that analyzes your hands. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. Uh, I assume you just reproduce the Redux state in Firebase. No, no, I, I actually I am not a fan of Redux. Um, I guess I shouldn't say I'm not a fan of it. I've, I've never had to use it. Um, uh, I or MobX. I just use React Context. Honestly, that that solves and, and satisfies all my needs. Um, I've I've never ran into something where I needed to look outside of that for for help and for like kind of state management stuff. Um, what is it? Their React is even. They're working on their. There are like other solution, I forget what it's called, but like a, a, you know, abstracting state out of the React tree is even something that they're working on, which sounds cool. I'd be interested to see what it looks like in practice, but, uh, but yeah, because Redux has a state type thing you could directly model in Firebase. That's cool. That's cool. Honestly, I've, 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 for me, Firebase is, is just, um, like there are hooks and stuff that you can you can plug into, or maybe not hooks, but there well, there definitely are uh, modules that people have made to to create hooks for Firebase. Um, but I mean, all I need is just the object and passing that object around as the data. Uh, and React context so far has been honestly been super easy and super good for for me doing that. Um, no no hate or you know anything like that to Redux or MobX, but I just. I haven't found the need in side projects or in like my day job to to introduce that. Let's see, let's see. 
Uh, for MVP, yeah, yeah. Um, with the MVP that we have, uh, I I think we have enough to market the MVP that we've built. Um, it won't be a lot, right? That's the whole point. It's an MVP. If you're, if you're, what is it? What's the saying? If you're not ashamed of your MVP, you did it wrong. And, and there are definitely things I'm not proud of with that. Um, but I think that means that now is a good time to actually start trying to actively put it in front of people, get feedback, uh, prioritize new features, prioritize new directions and go from there. But I am more so trying to, for myself, kind of kind of take a step back and, and look at what I want to do. So, so yeah. 52 events to create an AWS site. What do you mean by 52 events? Is that a, is that a tool? Or is that like an actual account kind of thing? No. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, another thing that I kind of want to brainstorm a little bit here is design stuff. Right. Um, this is going to be all like high level, high level things, right? Nothing here is going to be set in stone or, or anything like that, but, uh, just having used movie otter, right. Having made the, the MVP and, and stuff like that. Uh, there are some things I know that I'm going to want to change design wise and what, Ooh, actually before, before we move on to this, um, we're going to need a feed model. And I, and I didn't want to really ever do feeds, but I think for what I'm trying to build, I think, unfortunately, I might just have to. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, just creating a feed. So when, because I, I, I want to be able to just make, you know, you know, movie otter dot dot, you know, uh, com slash, you know, dashboard or something. Right. Um, or maybe just, just dot com like home, right. Home, the home page of the website. Once you've logged in, uh, we just turn the home page into a dashboard and that shows like, you know, things that your friends have recently watched, um, the recent reactions that they've had, which I guess technically This is something I would need to remodel. It wouldn't be something new. Um, basically, when you've watched a movie, uh, we, we have a, a movie outer scale that we kind of allow you to apply to a movie um, or a TV show or whatever once we have in the future. Uh, that is not a, a review scale. It is not a review scale. It is a reaction scale. It's whether you hated it, whether you liked it, whether you loved it, so on and so forth. Um, Let's see, let's see. Uh, I would love to read blog entries on each decision point from hosting to privacy policy to more info on how you're building it. More, de more details than Twitch profile. Maybe I just need to watch your streams from start to current YouTube playlists or listen to podcast episodes. Dude, that, that um, it, thank you. <laughs> I am glad you uh, said that. That is, that is, uh, that means a lot as, as small and, and as, you know, almost, Throw away or consequential as, as maybe you intended for it to be. Um, I really do appreciate you appreciate you saying that. I think um, I've I've been meaning to this past month actually. I, I had at the beginning of this month I had set out to to create a movie outer blog to more formally or you know bite size kind of track the history of making movie outer or working on a project right. Um, and I didn't do it because I wasn't sure actually what I would write about. But then as soon as I made the decision not to do it, I started finding all these different things that I thought it would be really cool. Like, oh, it'd be a, this would be like a really cool thing to just make a blog post on, right? Like, how, how did I ran into this technical problem? Here's how I fix it. Or like, I ran into this like business decision and here's what I made and here's why I made it. And here's the direction I'm going in for because of it and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, off to the side of this, we'll have um, revisit blog idea, right? 
Um, it is something I've thought about. It's something I've wanted to do. Uh, and yeah, so you saying that kind of, kind of, I don't know, maybe, maybe also just kind of makes me feel like it's a good idea. Um, what do those three features do? The three features on the homepage? The, these ones? So right now, if you, sorry, I, I can just give you uh, a quick rundown of what we have so far. So uh, when you go to movieauto.com, right? I can log out and give you the full experience. Um, you come here, um, you honestly get the most from it by signing in or logging in or signing up. Um, and, uh, but uh, immediately you can kind of, you can kind of, you know, jump in, you can see some movies, right? If, if you have a movie in mind, the, the, the current use case for movie Otter right now is somebody who um, is for someone who maybe uh, already uses something like Letterboxd, uh, but they're unhappy for whatever reason, or, you know, they, they're, they're keeping track of things in like an Excel sheet or something like that, right? Um, currently, the use case for movie Otter is admittingly smaller than I would like. But again, it's that MVP, right? If you're, if you, if you're not ashamed of your MVP, you did it wrong kind of thing. Um, definitely, definitely, uh, a lot of things I, I want to add, but so far what we have is you can search for movies, right? So maybe you're a Star Wars fan, right? You come in, you search Star Wars, uh, you know, you find out, oh, okay, oh man, this has Mark Hammond. Oh, okay, cool. It's got Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. Oh, this is really interesting premise, you know, uh, yada, yada. Uh, I haven't logged in yet, but you can come in you're like, oh man, I definitely want to watch this movie you know, we'll prompt you to log in. Let's say you log in with, you know, Google or Twitter or just email password, right? Um, you can come back and, okay, cool. Like, I want to watch this movie later. Um, uh, and that kind of goes into, right now we have three primary lists. We have your favorites list. Uh, we have your watch later list. So the things you want to watch later, the verbiage is not great, right? I'm not a, I'm not an English uh, profess professional. Right, I can't, I can't even say that right. I, I was not an English language arts kid growing up. I was a science and math. Um, so there's a lot of verbiage everywhere that could probably be better. Um, but eventually, you know, you'll start to build this, you know, long list of movies that for some reason, I'm not sure why my images aren't loading, but whatever, they're not for whatever reason. Uh, you, you'll start building this like list of movies that you eventually want to get to. Um, somewhere in here is going to be Star Wars, right? Uh, maybe you've watched it, right? You know, you 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 close out, you you go home after a long day of work, you watch the movie Star Wars, you're like, oh man, this is really good, or oh man, I really liked it. Uh, I I don't need it in my watch later list anymore. In fact, I've watched it, so I can log that I've watched it. We keep track of how many what movies you've watched and when you last watched them and things like that. Um, and you're like, man, I, I love this movie so much, I'm gonna add it to my favorites, right? And that would bring us to our favorites list, which these are all movies that you've seen that maybe, you know, you really enjoy. And, uh, you know, in, in the in the future of Movie Otter, maybe we use this to help recommend you movies and stuff like that, right? Like, it, we want it to be just that you've watched something, and so we're going to recommend you more things like it. Um, I would really want to know the, you know, try to find trends and what it is you really love so that I can recommend things to you if at all i do right um and then uh you also have like your watch history where you know like i said oh like i just watched star wars also why is this this is in reverse order i think i fixed this in in a, in a update that just needs to be pushed out but uh you would see you know the movies you've watched in most recent to least recent order this is a little bug it's fixed um but you know, from here, you're like, oh, okay, cool. You can go back through history. Like, okay, in the last month, I've seen, you know, four movies or whatever. Um, kind of just stuff like that. Uh, and also, we'd have lists. So, say you are really into horror movies or comedies or something like that, right? Like, you come in here. And like me, I started making my favorite Disney movies list, right? Something super silly, um, almost throwaway. You know, but it, it's just a cool list you could put together. Uh, I know some people, what is it? Like people get really uh, passionate about like Star Wars movies, right? And everyone has their like definitive order in which you need to watch the Star Wars movies. Or people have like, oh, here are the best, you know, the best Marvel movies. Or like, if you're only gonna watch, you know, if, 
you're gonna watch all the Marvel movies, this is the order you need to watch them in. This is chronological order. This is release order. This is the order that makes the most sense contextually, or you know, whatever. Um, we have just like custom lists that you can make uh, and share, right? Like I can send this link out to whoever, right? I can drop it here in chat. If you guys go to that link, this page will come up. You'll be able to see the list. Um, eventually, I would like to do things like being able to copy a list or make a list like a check checklist so that like hey I want to work through this list you know let me check off movies as I as I work my way through them stuff like that um let's see uh and then this is also recommendation so for instance um actually let's, let's go back for a second the emperor's new groove right I love this it's one of my favorite movies it's really great I think that my friend uh the the film beaver would love this movie, right? I can send him a recommendation for this movie. There's no UI for it, but it is currently sending him a recommendation and it sends him a recommendation. I am, we have, this is all a part of the improvement is adding more UI feedback that like something's happening, right? Um, but next time that that user logs in, he'll have a notification in his list that says like, oh, Isaiah thinks that you would really like, look at this, like Janet Garcia thinks I would like Parasite. Uh, she recommended this movie to me and I think I actually added it to, yeah, I added it to the list of movies I wanna watch later. Um, so uh, that is that is a very, very quick and dirty rundown of Movie Otter as it currently stands, right? Um, like I said, there are things I definitely want to improve, but overall, for the goal that I had originally set out, uh, it completed it. This is a very usable product that suited the needs of my initial vision, right? Um, but I don't want to stop there. I want to make it better. I want to do more. And so here we are. Um, sorry, I missed, I missed a lot of things in chat. Um, let's see, from what I understand, the key to blogs is short posts. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I can see that. Uh, I think people are more likely to, to share short posts and post about it on like social media. Like, hey, this is a quick read. It's really good. Taught me about such and such. Cool, boom, you throw it out there. Um, I would be the first listener, reader, subscriber, whatever. <laughs> oh, thank you, Logic. Um, my son would be the second. Your future book would thank you, God. Ah, oh, man, if if only, right? That would be the dream. Uh, just get rid of view. The intent will be understood by users to view the watch later, etc. cetera, list. Oh, interesting. So you're saying like, um, I guess, I guess I'm confused by what do you mean by that uh, logic? And for ratings, I just have thumbs up, thumbs down. That's, that's totally valid, right? Uh, the, and the list I, I my movie otter list or my like movie otter reactions uh you know uh movie otter reactions right it kind of it it more oh god that is not a straight line that is not a straight arrow there we go that's better at least um it is a four point list right so we have one two, three, and four, but it's not an even four point scale, right? It's not like, you know, this is, you know, sad and, and this is happy. It is that, right? But there's nuances to it, right? There's uh, hate it, there's more or less, or, you know, it, there's, there's did not like it, which is different from did not liking something in my head is different from actively disliking it. And I know that the scale doesn't necessarily infer that just because it is only four points, but it's not it's not a, a linear scale like this. It's it's honestly it's more of a kind of like pigeonholing scale, right? Um, there's like and then there's love. Uh, so. For movie otter, when people react to a movie, when they when they come through and they they've watched something and they want to you know log their initial reactions after watching the movie, um, the vast majority of things 
probably gonna be twos or threes, right? They're probably either gonna not really like it, like it's okay, it was fine, it was okay, right? Anything that falls in that category of meh to okay, right? That would be a two. Maybe something jumps into the three, right? Where it's like, oh, that was fun, that was cool. Oh, that had some really good moments. Um, you know, fewer things are gonna be hates, right? Like, oh, I hate this movie. Like me, I, you know, I walked out of the theater. I didn't want to finish it. Or like, oh, this was like way too gruesome. Or oh, they killed the dog. Or, I, I just, I just hated everything about this movie. The acting was bad. Whatever your reason for not liking a movie, right, or actively hating a movie is, you would be a hate. And then on the opposite scale of that would be a four, which is love. Like I love the Emperor's New Groove. I love the Lion King. I love, uh, all, you know, so many other movies, right? That just at any, like at any, a moment's notice, I'm down to watch them, right? I'll rewatch them. All that stuff is great. Um, and I think, I think for, because of what I'm going with with Movie Otter, um, I think this is the better scale to have than a, you know, a, a one to 10 or uh, even a thumbs up or thumbs down, right? Uh, thumbs up and thumbs down is definitely closer, right? I would do a thumbs up, thumbs down before I do a one to 10 scale. Um, but I want to go for something that's a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more detail, just because, uh, one of the goals of Movie Otter is to help you, help you find and recommend things based on what you like, not based on what critics think, right? Like critics can think that whatever, whatever movie is, you know, a 10 out of 10 and it's really good. But if you just... You know, people can think that John Wick is an amazing movie, which I, I actually do enjoy it, right? You know, but critics can think it's a great movie. There's this storytelling and blah, 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 right? But if you lost your wife, you're somebody whose like wife passed away and you lost your dog and you know, that movie just hits too close to home for you, right? You don't like that movie. Like I don't wanna, you know, I might not wanna watch that movie. And so I would rate that differently based on personal experience than just it being a good movie. Um, and so I'm trying to I'm trying to build something that kind of caters towards that a little bit, right? There's the IMDb's, there's the Rotten Tomatoes. They have the one to ten. They have the critic reviews and the you know community reviews and stuff like that already down packed. Uh, I don't need to to compete with them for that. Yeah, every user is gonna have a different interpretation of what. Hey, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um. Let's see. Hmm, that four point scale. I use the points. Yeah, that is that is that is exactly uh, actually what we do. We internally, I'm using one, two, three, or four, um, and just displaying, you know, hate, like, dislike, blah, blah, blah. Um, movie trend, movie nerds who wants to add? Yes, that is also something. Peak. Thank you for asking. Uh, it, we don't we don't have that displayed anywhere, but in the data model for reactions, we actually do have. Um, we have like uh, a text entry for you to put like a blurb about why it is you felt basically to give your reaction context. Um, right. I, I, I don't, I don't want it to ever come off as like justifying, you know, like I'm not trying to, you know, the last thing I want is for people to be like, oh, I, I, I love Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Like that's a four to me. Like I love that movie. I loved everything about it because I grew up with Sonic and I think that was a really good, no, I don't care about that. If you loved it, you loved it. Sure, you can add the context of you grew up with Sonic and you know, and that's interesting and that would even help other people know what to then recommend you and what not to recommend you. Um, but it, I don't ever want it to come off as like you are, I don't want to give people the space to be like snobby. You know what I mean? Where like their taste is elevated or better than other people's. I want it to be like, hey, this is my taste and let me just explaining it to you, right? Um, and, I, and I know it's a very, very hard like line to walk and, and, and I don't know if or how I will get that right, right? I'm sure I'm gonna make mistakes along the way and, and stuff like that, but, um, but yeah. You know what? It's fun, Dota. It is funny you should mention that. Uh, I actually had the idea. So if you click on this first link here and you open up the Figma file for some of my uh, initial concepts and designs for Movie Otter, 
Um, one of the things I actually have is on a user's profile, uh, they display their top 10 movies. Um, right? Is it, like kind of kind of taking it back to almost like MySpace days, right? Where you have like your top four, your top eight or whatever. Like I, I one thing I want to add is, is users can assign their top 10 movies. And, and that I think will say so much about a person more than any score they give something or any, you know, reaction or, or review or text kind of, you know, whatever description they give a list or anything like, like just seeing someone's top 10 movies, I think says that will say wonders about them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so that is that is at least uh, it's just very funny, very very funny. You should mention that because that is exactly something that that I want to do. <laughs> um, what is up, C Films? How's it going, dude? Uh, one of the menus was something like like, favorite, view, view. You mentioned not being a professional writer or something. I think what didn't flow is the too many view. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, there's, you know, view profile, view favorites, view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, that's actually a really good point. Yeah. Thank, thanks for pointing that out. Actually let's, uh, and honestly, this is, this is going to be a bigger ticket than, than just changing that. Um, I kind of want to just revisit all the copy. Uh, for example, you know, the nav menu, uh, says, uh, view a lot, right? Um, uh, not going to do it right now. Not going to fix things right now. We're just going to make that as just like revisit the whole copy on the site. Um, I may even just like reach out to somebody on Fiverr or something and, and have them just look over all the all the text and copy that I'm using, making sure it like reads well and, and isn't, you know, like marbles in your mouth when you try to read it and stuff like that. Uh, so, but yeah, thank you. That 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 is a thank you for pointing that out. And thank you, thank you. The, the it was good design. So I guess I guess it's a good it's a good thing that I don't need to say that. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Also also catching up a little bit. Um, love the scale. I hate the Netflix. I kind of hate that Netflix changes scale as well. Um, I would love to say that a TV series is X overall and get more granular from time to time and provide signal. I really love the hated episode. Your recommendation could someday be that influence. Wow. Yeah. Um, when you, in, in fact, we, we also have in the data model, there's no UI or anything for it, but when you recommend a movie, there technically is space in the data to say why you are recommending uh, that particular thing to somebody. Um, so you could be like, you know, uh, hey, I, I am recommending John Wick to you because you loved, it's uh, another like really good action movie. I don't know, uh, IP Man, right? Or Hit Man, I don't know which one it is. Um, it's like, oh, like you seem to really love these action movies. You know, John Wick is really good. I think you should watch it. You can just send that along with your recommendation to a friend or something. Uh, so since you're curating the movies according to how much they personally like the movie, it seems to fit your mantra or whatever you call it. Yeah. Company mission. Yeah, I know, right? What what do I call these things? All of these words. Words have meaning and meaning is hard. Um, this is just based on previous experience where I downvote or rate something really low. Then I go back to them and wonder why I downvoted it. Dude, I do the same. That's so funny. Yeah, I, I'm not far behind you there. I also do that a lot. Um, but design, uh, what is Figma it is? Yes. Figma is a wireframing design tool. Um, it is free to get started. So, or if you're in a small team, like of one person like me, right. Uh, it's free to use. Uh, you basically can make projects. You can design out screens for a website or an app that you might be making or something you're working on. Um, you kind of, kind of go through a lot of that stuff. Uh, yeah, machine learning would fit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really want to look into machine learning and no, uh, in particular, uh, Firebase recently like added machine learning to their suite of tools, right? Um, 
I don't know much about machine learning. I'm going to be very honest with you, right? I know I know what it is in, in theory and in, in the concept of machine learning, right? But I've I've only ever seen it used to identify things in a picture. Like I don't know what machine learning looks like outside of hot dog or not hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I just don't know. Like what what can I would, I would, if anyone in chat knows, please, I'm not trying to call you out. I am saying that that is I'm ignorant about that. And if you can explain to me how machine learning is used outside of just picture descriptions, please let me know. <laughs> yes, Pete, that is exactly, that is exactly what I know. <laughs> machine, as soon as I buy something, machine learning will recommend me nothing but the thing I just bought. <laughs> That's a pretty spot on recommendation. Yeah. Yup. Um, and do you have I written that stuff out like a company mission statement and vision and all that? No. Um, yeah, kind of like you said, like it, uh, it's just a one man project right now, right? I'm just working on this alone. Um, eventually, I, you know, again, not to put the cart before the horse and stuff like that, right? Like I still need to get to that point. Um, but if Moviata did ever make money, um, I would 100% be open to bringing in like contractors or, or you know, uh, stuff like that to, to kind of help build and keep things moving along. Um, but for now, it's, it's just like a one man team. Uh, I, I don't have a mission statement. I have it up here, but I don't have it written down. So you can't you can't not follow the mission statement if you don't write it down. Isn't that, that's like a rule, right? Ah. Bots think I have more than two feet. <laughs> oh man, they're, they're recommended. I'm actually surprised that like, no one's followed through with the dumb idea of selling shoes in pairs of three so that you have one in case you are selling socks in pairs of threes so that you have an extra when you inevitably lose one. I think that's like, isn't that like a sitcom joke, sitcom joke that I heard somewhere, something like that, right? Um, yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. I would love to, to implement, like integrate some sort of machine learning to, to movie otter, um, especially if they make it really easy with Firebase, but I, I have no idea what what I would even machine learn. Um, but, okay. Design, some, some I think core design things that I'm gonna need to revisit. Um, some things I'm definitely gonna have to, to, to go back into Figma and work through and everything like that. Um, I think, uh, first and foremost, movie profiles, right? Um, once, once I'm pulling information from the movie database, uh, we, we can display so much more information here, right? We can have uh, anything, you know, more images. We can have trailers. Uh, we can have the the cast and crew um, properly, right? Cast and crew. It looks like an Iru. Hold on. Cast and crew there we go that's better at least um i think i think having the history of it being watched right uh recent watches could be pretty cool recent watches um slash uh recent parties right um i think it'd be cool if you know when inevitably, you know, the, the next Marvel movie hits theaters or, or even just kind of comes out, right? Maybe Black Widow or, you know, we're leading into another Avengers or something like that, right? Like, I think it could be really cool to, to go to, um, I don't know, uh, Avengers Endgame or something or like leading into Endgame, right? Like, I think it would have been really cool to be able to go to Infinity Wars page and see how many people were like watching it to catch up and prepare for Endgame. Um, I think that could be just like something that's really cool. Oh, dude, Kane, I'm really glad you. I'm really glad you brought that up. Um, that is that is actually something I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, basically, try to 
try to allow for kind of like behind the scenes um, slash trivia, uh, which I, it might have, might have even been said before on the stream at some point. Um, but like you know, seeing seeing behind the scenes looks at movies and stuff like that. Like again, right? Uh, what's what's coming after Black Widow? Uh, WandaVision's a TV show. Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a TV show, but the the Eternals is that what it's called? Is that what the next movie is, or one of the next movies? Right? Or Doctor Strange two, right? Isn't that a thing? That's a, that's a Phase four thing, right? Uh, even with Doctor Strange one, I remember like seeing you know going on Reddit and seeing like leaked pictures of them like filming stuff in the streets and everything like that. Like it would be so cool to just have people be able to go to a movie's profile and post that image, right? And share it with that community. And people can go there and be excited and, and upvote and like like things and share. And like, you know, I, I just think that would be really cool. I, I ultimately, I know, I know you kind of asked like, you know, what is, what is, you know, vision and, and mission statement and stuff like that, right? But like, I've always loved the, the idea of trying to make Movie Otter be uh letterboxed plus reddit right uh i want something that is personal right like you have your list you have your history you know your recommendations and things like that but just enough socialness that you feel like you're a part of communities like you you are one person that can be a part of these other multiple communities where everyone has like you know similar interests and they like the similar things and they're recommending things because everyone also has like those similar interests right like like maybe you join a i don't know a, a dog movie watch party right where like every month you guys get together and you watch a movie that features a dog right like that's something stupid and silly but in like the best way possible and i think they're just like I don't know. I would love for Movie Otter to be something that can facilitate that kind of stuff, right? I think that's how you really build communities around a product. Uh, and I think that that ultimately is what would give this some like legs to stand on for, for some time, right? And, and make it something that could grow. Um, let's see. Sorry, sorry. I got to catch up. I got to catch up to, to chat. Um, let's see. Solomon Smith Tellering 1 to 10, you get to do you get to do one. Ah, okay, cool. That's how, okay. Okay. Thanks, E Phelps. Um, unsupervised machine learning, it tries to identify clusters. Ah, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that there was a difference between supervised and unsupervised. I need to write that down. Supervised versus unsupervised learning. Sweet. I will look into that later. Um, if you look up wine data, wine data machine learning, you get a classic example of a data set that's used for machine learning. Titanic and is another. Hmm. Um, I like seeing how movies and websites are similar and different. Uh, how are you not worried that Amazon slash IMDb or anyone else won't run with your idea, but with more resources dedicated. I get that you could come out of the dark fully fleshed out and they could follow up with a copycat, but putting it out there during early development seems more risky. If you're worried, you're still doing it. Awesome. Sounds like an exciting first blog podcast book chapter. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think that's a good point. Um, I think, I mean, that that's, that is a really, really good question. Also, uh, ooh. Uno? E Uno? E Uno? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with you know. You know five, thank you so much for follow. And Sponge! I never had a sponge just kinda dropped by chat. So so hi and welcome and thank you for the follow. Um But logic, no, that's a, that's actually a really good question. Um I think I think that's something a lot of indie hackers actually worry about. Like uh I'm a I'm a I'm a lurker uh, for the most part in this community called indiehackers.com, right? You, if, if you are at all interested in building a product or something like that, um, it is it is something you should definitely uh, you should visit there. Uh, the the guy who runs it, Cortland Allen, he has uh, podcasts associated with it. Who he interviews a lot of a lot of very very smart uh, successful people who are trying to build something from scratch, right? Trying to do what it is I'm trying to do here on stream out in the open. 
um, and uh, just one of the things that constantly comes up among people trying to build stuff like this is like, oh, but like, what about copycats? Oh, what about, you know, aren't you afraid that like, you kind of like, aren't you afraid that Amazon or Google or Apple or somebody else is going to just come and put all their money behind it and then like just beat you, right? They'll just, they'll just own all of your stuff, right? Um, and that's a good point, right? Like that totally can happen. Uh, but I think you would see that happening. I think, I think there's a lot of factors that go into that, right? Uh, Google and Apple and Microsoft and all these Amazon, all these companies, they're not gonna, they're not gonna just do something because they see someone else do it, right? Um, they're gonna, they're gonna only do it if they actually see it worthwhile. Um, they would, they would honestly probably wait for a smaller company to prove that there is a market to it, prove that there is a use for this thing and then swoop in and e either buy them up or dedicate resources to build their own. Um, right. Like, like, I don't know. Uh, what's, what's a good example? Um, Google, right. Um, uh, with Google maps, right. Google maps is from day one. Google maps was always, you know, hands down better than MapQuest, right? Like you could just get real time map location data and like see where everything is. That's so cool. And then this company Waze came along and Waze was like, oh man, it'd be cool if you could get like real time feedback to traffic and then readjust your routes based on that. And it wasn't until like they built their app, right? They started getting a following. They, you know, we're competing with Google, but not and not really, right? Like I don't know anyone who was going who was Google, who was searching for businesses on Waze, right? Waze was strictly a better mousetrap for navigation, for using maps to navigate somewhere. And Google was like, "Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's buy them." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they they eventually, I'm sure, under the hood, they're they're taking the data from Waze, and that data is now being shared with Google Maps and stuff like that. But like. Ultimately, like that, they're both just a part of Google now, and they're both like making each other better. Uh, whatever features they discover in one, they add to the other, and vice versa. By now, I imagine, right? I don't work at Google. I never worked for Waze or anything like that. But I have to imagine that that's that's really what they're doing. Um, and so, uh, what I see happening, which uh, by no means is it a reality, right? Like I'm not going to sleep thinking like, oh, I just need to make it to this point so that somebody will buy me. Um, but it's more so just like, you know, oh, if I can just focus on making the best product that I can, either users are going to come, right? Users will, you know, share word of mouth. People will hear about it. People, more people will use it. And eventually from that, it'll become, you know, profitable. It'll have legs to stand on. Right. Um, or slash then. Uh, maybe some company hits me up and, and, and they want to, you know, acquire me or something like that, which again, I, even just saying that sounds ridiculous to me, um, just because that's so far ahead of where I am now that it's not even something I need to even remotely bother myself thinking about, you know, uh, mixer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. Um, let's see. Let's see. Sorry. Also catching up. Also catching up. So Blue Water's time gets to the market. Uh, Amazon already has IMDb. Yeah, yeah. Google Waze is a great example. Really wish Google didn't buy them. <laughs> oh man, that's so sad. I actually remember using Waze for like the longest. Um, only because I it came out and I was using it at the perfect time where I was commuting uh, between college and my hometown every so often, right? And you would just get on the expressway and you know, you kind of want to go fast. You know, you want to get there. You want to shave some minutes off your commute. Um, and so I would use it for like the, the little flagging and tracking thing. Um, and then I forget, I think, I think they might've put it behind like a paywall or something and I was a broke college student, so I couldn't pay for it or afford it or some, something happened. And I was like, ah, oh, I guess I'll just go back to using regular Google maps. Um, but I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought well, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, movie film okay that could be something really cool that could like go in the behind the scenes thing for a movie right it's like where did they film it right people sharing photos about you know the set and stuff like that honestly uh pie in the sky dream i have for movie outer is actually to have kind of like a like a 
commentary repo, I guess is is a it's not a good word for it. Um but like, you know, uh whether you are a and I might have talked about this on stream before, so sorry if you're just hearing the same you know, hearing me say the same things over and over. Um but like if you are uh either a film student or maybe you are someone in the film industry, right? Or, or something like that. Or maybe you're just like a personality, right? Like maybe, you know, you and your friends, you're you're funny, or, or you know, you're a movie analyst and, and you like dissecting movies, right? Like you you are a critic, right? I, I think just because that is not the goal for movie honor doesn't mean that I can't build things that people of all backgrounds and of all like facets and stuff can use, right? Um, you are somebody who likes to talk about movies. Um, I think one cool idea that I have that I don't, I, and I don't think this exists anywhere. And if I, and if it does, please let me know because I would love to, to do more research into the idea. Um, is, uh, right. Assuming, assuming that we have our extension here, right. And, you know, we have, you know, synced up actions. We can listen to when somebody's playing a movie, we can get the timestamp for it and things like that. What if we just took this whole thing, right? This whole browser extension thing and we added commentaries to it. So, you know, you're watching the latest movie by the Russo brothers and while watching the movie, you're hearing them talk about different. It's like kind of like how you used to get DVDs and, you know, you'd listen to the commentary version and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it, I don't, I don't know of a place of a, of a, of a, a area or of a website of a tool of a service that, that like lets you very easily find and listen to commentaries while you're watching a movie. Um, you know, so many times we're watching so many movies on all these different services, it would be, you know, a, a licensing nightmare, I imagine, to try and get commentaries to all these services as well. What if we just took the commentaries to, 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 to an outside service to something like Movie Otter, you know? Uh, I really love maybe like a film student, right? Or, or animation student, right? They go back and they watch a classic Disney movie. And over that you have, you, you have this like library of people who are analyzing these classic Disney animation movies, right? They're breaking down the different techniques at different scenes or, or the different way, you know, film students are, are creating commentaries for, for movies that are, you know, they're analyzing how scenes were shot and how, you know, things were framed and how they approach this and, and, you know, special effects people are, are, you know, talking about the different special effects that show up in scenes and what it means and how it changed the game and stuff like that. Right. Um, I think something like that would be just like, so cool, so useful. Uh, and again, if we have like a browser extension that we can listen into when you are playing something, we can play the commentary in sync with the media itself, uh, and, and do just cool stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm getting hosted by Logic. Thank you so much, dude. That's awesome. Um, so yes, all, all, all that to say, that is that is an idea I have that I would love to do as well. Um, still, again, far from it, right? Like all we have is this MVP so far and we're building on it, but that is, that is the goal. That is ultimately the kind of direction that I wanna go into. Um, we, are gonna have to redesign our user profiles. Sorry, if I, if I can actually take a step back now and actually get back to work, instead of just flapping off at the mouth, just talking about hopes and dreams. <laughs> so sad. Um, but yeah. Oh, Seafilm, dude, that's so great. I'm so happy you said that. And, and honestly, I, I, you know, same to you, knowing, knowing that you're here and that you're also working on something and inspires me to also try and be better, you know? Like competition is good. I think, I think, I don't know. I personally think competition gets a, a bad rap a lot of the times, you know? Like some people, they they, they just want things handed to them and, and you know, they, they try to do things quickly or hope that they're the only one that's trying to do something so that you know, they don't have competition, but it's like, you don't, you don't improve without competition, right? You know, athletes, they, they, athletes are athletes because they keep playing great players. Like they keep playing other great people, learning and, and you know, gaining that experience for them and stuff like that. 
when the cooldown is longer than the coding. <laughs> oh, dude, dang, it's 10 o'clock. I didn't even realize. We we definitely didn't do a cooldown today. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. My mind's my mind's all over the place with this stuff. And I, I could probably use a second, use a break from talking. I'm sure you guys, your ears are gonna fall off. Uh yeah. What do you do when you hit a hard wall? What do you mean? Like, um, What do you what do you think uh what, what do you mean by a hard wall like i don't know where to go next i don't know what to do next uh this thing isn't working and i don't know how to fix it mm. problem that you just can't solve yet honestly i i find those moments very bittersweet um i like finding them because means that there's more to learn right and i know this sounds very cheesy right it sounds sounds super corny right um but honestly yeah i do like i think i think fine like like me a sql databases in general like all right uh managing like a sql database that is that is literally foreign to me right i know more spanish than I do how to manage a SQL database. And I'm a developer. I'm a developer by day. My my career is coding, right? And I've been, I was born and raised in the United States. So I, like the fact that that's so foreign to me, even though it's so tied closely to what I do every day um, is kind of scary, right? But also that's like exciting. It's like, oh, that's something else that I can learn. Like that's something that if I really want it and, and if and when I do have the time, I can just sit down and dig into and brush up on that skill and learn that thing and then become that much more of a better developer, that much more of a better programmer, that much more of a, just a more well-rounded creative person. Um, so uh, that is the kind of the, the good parts to uh, when, when you hit a wall. Um, the bad parts is obviously you feel, it doesn't feel good, you know? Uh, I, I am someone who definitely suffers from like imposter syndrome and and all of that right like, it's kind of one of the reasons why i set out to to build movie otters because it's like oh like i've said for so long that i've had this idea and i've never made it you know maybe i can you know you start doubting yourself and stuff like that and eventually you know it got to the point where i was just like i just need to try it even if i fail even if i make movie otter no one but me uses it right no one but me cares that it exists and it, it means no value to anybody um it's so cool that finally did a thing that I was scared I wouldn't be able to, you know? Um, imposter syndrome is real, man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that, that you know, that that is probably one of the biggest things to, to hitting a wall, right? Uh, for me, at least, like I start, you know, hitting, getting self-doubt and things like that. Um, but what do I do from that? Uh, <laughs> what, what do I do when I hit that point? Uh, is generally I take a day and I mope around, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be very, very, very this, is, this is real o'clock right now, right? Uh, when I hit a brick wall and I don't know what to do, uh, I, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that cerebral. <laughs> but in all honesty, like I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a day and I'll probably feel bad and mope around for a bit, right? Um, and then I try to cheer myself up and I, and I do that a couple different ways, right? One, and, and this, may, hopefully you guys don't think I'm a, I'm a jerk for saying it or, or a joke for doing it, whatever, but kind of, I kind of need to like knock myself out of it, right? Like get myself out of the slump. And I think to myself, it's like, you know, I consider myself at least average, right? At least like an average developer. Uh, some days more better than average, some days less than average, but overall I consider myself at least average, right? And there are people who are below average doing this thing. There are people below average who hit this wall and got through it. So that means that I have to be able to do that as well, right? Um, you know, I, I have to be able to, to, to solve this problem or get through it or find a solution, right? Even if it's not the best solution, uh, you know, the, the, what, 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 the, the reason why I have this, and you, and you guys, you can spam it at any point. Uh, I have this quote, make it work and then make it better, right? So that's kind of like one of the things I do when when I hit that when I hit that wall is like, all right, what, what is like the dumbest? And I, and I think I actually got this from a YouTuber. I, got, I definitely got this from a YouTuber who I can't, I can't for the life of me remember their name, but it's like, what is the 
dumbest, stupidest, most inefficient way that I can solve this problem right now. And then I do that. And then in doing that, I'll learn so much about the problem that if I want it at the end of it, I can go back and I can refactor and I can you know approach things differently. Or, or maybe I can't, maybe I still can't. Maybe I don't have a, a answer at the end of it, but I have a solution. Uh, or, you know, maybe I don't, maybe what is it? I don't have the right answer, but I have a solution kind of thing. It's like, okay, I can keep moving, right? I don't have to stop here. This doesn't need to be a brick wall. It can be just like a fence or something that I have to just get over a hump that I just have to kind of like just get past in order to keep going. Uh, so sorry that that was a very long winded way. Hopefully, hopefully you got something from it, Caden. <laughs> hopefully it, uh, helps you in some aspect <laughs> uh, it gives you hope but that's good I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, most interested in watch parties I'm often apart from family it would be awesome to have a virtual movie night hopefully it would sync movie star play dude that is yes that is that is that is see and the other thing right and, and 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 I tell this to everyone now like if you are a developer if you're trying to build something if you're trying to do something do it stream it just try streaming it uh, a couple people have already come through chat and and kind of said like, oh man, you know, I thought about streaming and, at Kaden, you might have been one or, or maybe iPhone it was iPhone somebody came through, um, and that that's how they kind of, you know, one of the things they kind of took away was like, hey, like like I've been thinking about trying to stream my development, um, but you know, um, I'm nervous about it or I'm afraid or you know whatever it might be. Um, and I was like, dude, no, you get so much out of it. Like I've gotten so much from, from streaming for you guys, right? Whether it's me thinking through my problems or hearing feedback from you guys or, or, you know, any of that. So it's, it's very funny. You say that, uh, logic just because like that hearing you with that use case is the exact same use case that I have and why I wanted to build movie on it. Right. The whole goal was to have something that, that. I could work with friends remotely and, and everyone kind of keeps in sync and it's, it's easy to share things with friends and you kind of, you know, I want these watch parties because, you know, I'm sick and tired of calling friends up in order for us to all press play at the same time and everything like that. So, uh, is this going to be a, are you going to Rick roll me right now? Is that what this is? Uh, yeah. Is this just him? <laughs> <laughs> why 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 is this a thing i'm definitely gonna save it <laughs> but why is that a thing <laughs> oh it's so good that's really good <laughs> um no it's great it makes me stoked to hit hearts tomorrow yeah thank you i well i am glad i could do that i'm glad i can help you feel that way um i actually did, maybe 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 we'll do maybe we'll do cool down and, and like seven minutes or so around like 10 15 we'll just play like a game or two of rocket league it's getting it's getting kind of late um yeah I, i've talked a lot already and i apologize guys i can get real long-winded uh let's see let's give it updates there Almost wish it was Titanic. <laughs> oh man, that would be great. If we could do a command that just plays audio, that would be actually that's kind of a thing you can do, right? With like either bits or, or something like that, right? That would be a that'd be a, just adding a you can do it. That would be pretty cool. I would be down for that. Um, but okay. All that aside, let's get let's get let's do a solid five minutes of work before our cool down. Um, which for those who don't know, we have, uh, cool down. Hopefully you stick with us here. You're hanging out with us. You're having a good time and maybe even you'll play some rocket league with us. It's, uh, it's kind of been, been the game that we've been kicking around for cool down. So definitely, definitely would love to have you guys join in. Um, but for a user profile, right? Uh, we, we have all the basic like user info. Uh, I'm not going to bother listing that out too much. Um, but uh, the other thing I finally want to get around to adding is the top 10. Uh, I think, like I said, I think top 10 is 
is a really, really good way to just immediately get a sense of a person's taste, uh, which is really what Movie Otter is about, about the individual personal taste that people have. Um, I think, you know, recent watches uh, is interesting and something that would be fairly easy to add along with recent parties. Um, recent parties. Um, I think uh, their lists is something that would be cool. So their uh, custom list lists 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 right? That's something that'd be cool to add. Uh, I'm trying to think, like when when I'm when I'm you know, uh, Caden, I you you you, you messaged recently, right? I, I want to know more about your taste because I want to recommend you a movie. I go to your page. I see, you know, of course your information, you know, maybe also I think we need to be like linking out to social uh, links to social accounts. Uh, your Twitters and, and Instagrams and whatever you might link to your profile. Uh, I can see your top 10. It's like, okay, cool. He seems to have like a lot of Disney movie or like he's, he's you know a lot of these are like scary movies or you know oh he's like he, a lot of his top 10 are comedies like six of his 10 are comedies right it's, it's probably he likes to laugh or blah 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 um okay and recently he's watched you know this that and a third and, and blah 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 uh you know he's got his custom list you know oh he's got a list that like has a lot of uh, stand-up comics in it right like stand-up comics turned movie actors like Kevin Hart or whoever Oh, you know what? I think he would like the big sick. Um, boom. And then, and then from there, I can recommend, you know, after getting kind of a sense of your taste from your profile, this presumably would be enough information to at least get started. Um, I can more accurately send, send a recommendation. Oh, I think groups. The groups that you're in or at least the the you know public groups right maybe we'll maybe maybe it's it's gonna lot or, or thinking too much too far ahead of, of having like private groups um but i don't know maybe 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 that that wouldn't actually be that difficult um but some sort of groups right at least the public groups that you're a part of whether it's like uh, dog lovers unite or or i don't know disney adults or something like that right like like it would be cool to see what groups you're a part of as well. So that one, either maybe you can join, right? It's like, oh, this is my friend is in this group. That kind of says that, you know, maybe it's something I would like as well or, or something like that. Um, kind of go from there. Uh, but more importantly, I think it just says a lot about you, the kind of person that you are and what you like. Um, I think actually, speaking of which then, uh, groups. We're going to definitely need some group pages. Um, we are going to need users. Uh, parties. Both uh, upcoming uh, and history. Um... Um, oh, I think, I think a part, oh, this event, I have an event, so that, that would be a, a party. Um, I honestly, one, one thing I really like, and, and Logic, you kind of hinted on this, is like, you know, say you're, you're trying to watch something with a family or, or, you know, uh, originally I had the idea of like, you know, when I first started working on this, like COVID didn't happen, right? Um. But I thought it would be cool if Movie Otter could act as like the home base. So I know for us in our friend group, we uh, when a movie came out, somebody would buy all the tickets, right? And then we'd try to like, you know, divvy out seats and stuff like that. Afterwards, we were more concerned, like somebody was just more concerned with getting the seats, uh, making sure we had the tickets, and then we would worry about who sits where later on. Um, but... Uh, I was thinking it would be cool if within Movie Otter, right? Like if you have this watch party, you have, you know, there's an event like, hey, we're all gonna go try to see A Quiet Place 2 in theaters. Um, 
it would be cool to to have a space for you to converse about a viewing about a party about a, a watch party or a, you know movie viewing or something like that where it's like hey you know i'm gonna pick up josh and then we're gonna go straight to the theater and and we'll meet you guys there right or it's like you know hey i'm getting snacks what does everybody want or who else wants to like anybody want to split a large popcorn or something like, like you can ask all these questions beforehand figure out things um before you guys get to the theater so that everyone kind of you know for lack of a better word, like knows what their role is, knows what's happening, what they're gonna do. Um, and it's not like this guessing game where everyone's trying to text everyone else and there's just like, you know, just text thread that's like super large and everything like that. Uh, alternatively, if you are having people over to your house, I think also something like this is useful where it's like, hey, like I said, I'm picking up John and then we're heading over to your place. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Um, or hey, you know, what snacks are there? I can stop at the store and pick up some chips and dip or, or something like that. Um, I know when, when Game of Thrones, when the last season of Game of Thrones is going out, we, you know, I, I went to, I hosted and went to a couple watch parties. Um, and that was, that was just like kind of a, an annoyance I had is like, ah, oh, all right, I gotta share my address with so-and-so, but then he didn't see the message. So I gotta share it again. Or, or so-and-so's calling somebody because they need it right now and all that. And they'd be like, you know, it'd be cool if we could just have a place to get all this stuff settled and squared away beforehand and, and if you if you lo lose any information you could just go back to this this page or this thing and like see everything you need um so so that that uh so i guess maybe messages is 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 as good as i can can name it right now um but like showing recent messages to the group uh and, and that message can be, you know, uh, uh, event update or update. That's not right. Update um, or something even like uh, what do you what do you call uh, like a, a recommendation a event recommendation? You know, like, hey, guys, do you want to watch this on Saturday? Uh, trying to go from there, something like that. Um, but cool, cool. Uh, and I, obviously I think list page would need to be updated, right? Uh, we're going to need to know the movies, the user, potentially multiple users, uh, shared list is something I want to add to movie audit, right? I think. Uh, you know, we, I've already found in just having the MVP of movie otter that like, oh, it'd be really cool if I could just share a list with my girlfriend and we both add and move movies, right. As we see fit. Um, so I definitely think I, I would want to add like lists that can be shared or managed by multiple people. Um, the description, right. Uh, I think checkpoints or, or check, check boxes. Uh, there are, there, I've, I've come across some lists already, whether it's a list somebody else has made or, or just like a list in general that gets shared around the internet and stuff. Um, or it's like, oh man, I wish this was like a checkbox thing that I could just like work my way through and see my progress as I've, as I watch the movies on this list kind of thing. Um, it's a good IRL use case group on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, like I said, the whole, all of movie otter exists because I have. I have not mentioned or wrote down anything in this app so far that I have not personally experienced a use case for. It's it's more so have enough other people also had these use cases come up where it could be beneficial or do I just need to continue making this for me or you know that that is the ultimate question, right? Uh, outings are virtual that matter. <laughs> Isaiah hates human interaction. That's not true. That's a lie. Oh my god, but all right, five minutes over. I think we need to switch to cooldown. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we got some good notes. You know, I like this. I, I, I like this. Uh, I like this functionality. I like using Leonardo for note taking. Uh, it's got the kind of blackboard feel to it, right? Uh, human interaction is overrated anyway. Exactly, see the ball and just stands. All right, all right. I've gotten, I've saved so much money staying home 
these past few months. All right, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not really any richer, but I am on it. I'm I finished my credit card debt. All right, I've saved so much money. I was able to pay off my credit cards. And that's a win for me. All right. Um, but yeah, you got you guys. Let me know how 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 was this? You know, this brainstorming, note taking, uh, kind of more meta behind the scenes uh, look at things and, and, and what I'm working on and what I'm thinking about with Movie Otter and everything, right? Like, you know, I, I said the the thing I'm trying to do is is uh, keep everything. I'm trying to be open about my whole process of Movie Otter, right? Like, I think. You know, th this stuff isn't shared enough in the way that, in the way that I'm trying to do it. Um, you know, I, I don't know many people who who build and, and work on their thing in the open as much as I've been trying to. Um, or the people who do do it, they <laughs> do do. The people who do do it just like are leaps and bounds. You know, they're 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 doing it right. You know what I mean? Um, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of how today's stream went, whether you like this idea, if I should do more of these things, if I should just do all this stuff off stream and then just come at you with these notes and, and then maybe walk through them there. Uh, I feel like that leaves maybe a little bit less room for discussion and for, you know, con you know conversing and, and, and talking about things and everything like that. So, you know, let me know. Uh, more than happy to, to keep doing them, add more fix them, improve the flow, right? I'll probably be doing stuff like this anyway. So I feel like, felt like at least now it would be cool to try one of them on stream and see, see how it's going. Uh, but yeah, yeah, um, it is tough. Like give me a dope, comfortable setup at home. And I'm sad. I know, I know. It's not like I, Kate and I got this, uh, this standing desk. It's like a convertible sitting standing desk, and it, it just changed the game. I am fine working from home for as long as I need to now. <laughs> <laughs> uh one thing i missed though is traveling Ooh, that's good that's a good point uh api in the net Ooh, with virtual you need like an api in the netflix blah 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 it's any plus uh come to movie otter and send links to family members and movie otter handles it yeah yeah including live chat as we watch together you need a place for the e you need a place for the emotes that's true uh vote on movie to watch pair white yeah yeah like um you know if Right, uh, pie in the sky, you know, flow of things is, you know, hey, I want to watch this movie, right? You you don't need to care about what platform people have because yes, Movie Otter would take care of, you know, showing you that like, hey, you have a Disney Plus account and this movie's on Disney or hey, you know, you have Hulu and this movie's on Hulu. So everyone can just watch it on whatever platform it is they have. Um, maybe they need to buy or rent it from something like YouTube or, or, you know, iTunes or something like that. Right. But we can handle that. Like we can, they, they do, those services do tend to offer APIs for you to spend money. <laughs> right. Um, and yeah, like, so you just send out, Hey, everyone, I want to watch, you guys want to watch this movie with me? Cool. Um, even better is taking that a step further. Right. If, if I have, you know, if me and my siblings are all in a group or something like that, uh, and I go to recommend a movie, maybe I can, you know, see a prioritized list of, of movies that people have said they wanted to watch. And if there's a movie that we've all said we wanted to watch, you know, maybe that, you know, jumps to the top of the list and you can easily recommend that one. And you guys all knock out something that you're all at least interested in. Uh, maybe not everyone will like it, but it's something that everyone said that they were interested in. Um, I think I think that could that, that'd be really cool. But yeah, so so yeah, logic. That is that is that is spot on. Uh, pie in the sky, wave a magic wand. Those are definitely the things the, that I want to I want to try to add in here. I want to go and be one of those annoying millennials like ball is life. <laughs> hey, I found out a guy. I found out of a term today, which I don't know if it's a real term, but it definitely should be. There is the uh, zillennials. Zillennials. Oh, wait, why is there E in there? Zillennials? No, I want, I want Zillennials. Yeah. I guess it's an Urban Dictionary one where it's like, you know, kids born between 93 and 98. I'm 93, so I'm right at the cusp of that. And it's like, 
Yeah, yeah, a lot of, like, I'm in between these two generations, and there's so much that, like, I relate to millennials, and I also relate to Gen Z, and all this, and I was like, yeah, okay, I, I came across this, uh, a friend of mine showed me this, and I was like, yep, that, that's me, that sounds, that sounds right, um, uh, hey, what am I doing right now, uh, to, well, you, you, unfortunately, you kind of missed it, um, we're, we're heading into our cooldown, but you, you, we were doing, uh, basically I was taking today, it's kind of like, a taking a step back and looking at the project so far, right? We finished the MVP. Um, there are tons of things that I still want to improve on it and, and, and make better and stuff like that. But I needed to take a step back and actually look at what features are going to matter the most next. And, and sort of like, what features should we work on next? What things do we need to add? What things do we not need to care about? Or can we refactor to make our development lives easier? Um, so for example, like I'm not gonna try to store movies myself in our database and instead we're just gonna source out to the movie database, right? Which is a, a big open API service for, for all sorts of movie and TV data, right? Um, it just makes more sense to, to do things there. Uh, to let them handle the data and I just work with it. Um, so, uh, this was great. Isaiah, let me know when you need a product minded technical project manager, man, dude. Well, Hey, w what are your rates? All right. I know it's just me, but oh, if, if you can, if you can come down to, to very, very affordable, then sir, we might have a future in the making. <laughs> um, how am I handling passwords? I am not handling passwords. I all the the password management and user account stuff is handled by Firebase. Um, I the last thing, honestly, the last thing I want to do is try to make an auth service myself from the ground up. Uh, I think it is cool and fun to do from like a just general interested standpoint, right? Like I love playing around and poking at things and trying to make things myself. Um, but that something with security is not. I know I'm not good at it. I don't try to flaunt that I'm good at it, right? I, I know my strong points and, and security and often like user authentication is not one of them. So I'm gonna let some other person who is much more into that. In this case, Firebase. If I didn't go Firebase, I probably would have went like Otho or something. Um and just let them handle user accounts and and, and you know stuff like that. <laughs> um Oh snap, we got Mary Jo. How's it going? I actually, I actually, uh, uh, I found your stream the other day. Um, I was like, man, I, I kind of want to just like find some new users and stuff. You weren't, you actually weren't streaming. Um, so I'm, I'm, man, I, I think, uh, you were, you were recommended. Uh, I came across you on Twitter. Um, and I was like, oh man, this, this person actually sounds really cool. They're, they seem to be working on some cool stuff. I'd be down to to just kind of follow him. So hey, I'm I'm glad you 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 came came over here. <laughs> I know, I know, I found you. Um, well, hey, oh snap, oh snap, Mary Jo, are you a Rocket Leaguer? Actually, it was probably Peak who might who might have shared you. Uh, if money is being spent, more monetization for the platform. I know, right? Then we do have to start adding in some some ads and stuff. Oh God. Um, uh, good. Just making sure we're fine. Signed up. Yeah. 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 No, that's totally smart. And again, you can sign up with Twitter. You can sign up with Google as well. If you, uh, prefer those, if you don't want to give me a password or just don't want to deal with the hassle of like email and password, totally fine. Totally fair. That stuff is all in there. What is rocket league? Oh, Mary Jo. Uh, Ooh, you can only save in a Leo format to output. Oh, okay, that's fine. But how do I save? Save? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, guess I should probably make a new folder. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do some 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 house cleaning, some resources. Uh, Leonardo. Sure. Um, I have one movie author. Dig into this, and then notes. Sure. Okay. And then this is gonna be our post MVP direction. No. Sure, that sounds right. I can work with that. 
Um, it's a whole new world. That's, that is that is the appropriate way to describe Rocket League in one sentence. <laughs> it's uh, socket, soccer with cars that can fly. How's that sound? Uh, you dev in Windows? I don't think I would be able to do that. You Honestly, I, uh, for the longest time, I would have agreed with you, right? Um, up until very recently, actually, I've, I've been a, a Mac person since I started learning how to program. Uh, you know, what, five, 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 six, seven years ago. Um, I got a Mac. I never looked back, right? Like using a Unix-based system was was always kind of my default. Um, and then, and then Microsoft, those, those sneaky bastards, they came out with this thing called Windows Subsystem for Linux. Um, and honestly, for what I do, it totally, uh, it totally solves all my needs. Not World Surf League, Windows Subsystem for Linux. So basically Windows 10 now allows you to run a small Linux virtual machine under the hood. Um, and then it, it, it gives you things like, uh, so like over here, right? If I, I can start a shell in Ubuntu, uh, let's close this tab because that's just regular PowerShell. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm now in a small virtual machine running on Windows. I'm in Ubuntu, right? Um, I don't I don't know actually a lot of terminal commands. Like, what's a, what's a command to just see what your operating system is? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, terminal C O S is L S. Neo fetch? What? What is this? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Yeah, how to check this in? Sure. Okay, let's try this. Is, is this is this a thing? Boom. Yeah. So, according to the terminal, right? According to this environment that we're in, I'm I am running Ubuntu, right? I'm in Ubuntu. Uh, Boom, there you go. Um, and so I do a lot of, like primarily I'm, like I said, uh, my day job is, is a web developer. Um, primarily do front end, do some back end things, right? But all, all of it is pretty much like at work we're a JavaScript house. Um, so whether I'm on the front end or the back end, I'm running JavaScript. Linux is more than capable of running Node. And so it meets 99.9% .9 of all the use cases I'm gonna need and all the, all the things and tools I'm gonna need to need. Um, what is, is a, is a better way to look at this? What, what, what is this? This sounds interesting. What? It's cool. That's really cool. All right, let, let, let's, let's, let's try it. Let's just see. What does this look like? Uh, oh, this has got to be, is it on note? Oh, okay. Here we go. Do I have get install NeoFetch? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yep, and then this Neo fetch. Boom. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I like that. That's super cool. <laughs> um, well, yeah, well, yeah, boom. There you go. Uh, as far as the system is concerned, I am on Ubuntu. I'm using this weird, again, This it is technically a part of Windows subsystem for Linux. So it's a, whatever this weird Microsoft standard kernel is. Um, but yeah, so I can I can do stuff like sudo app get install and, and everything like that here and, and run all my code for work and this project and stuff like that. Uh, Ryzen 3900X really balling. Well, well, it's funny. Um, so I was I was I was actually using. I mean, I can explain all this while we start up Rocket League. Actually, before we start up Rocket League, uh, thank you everyone. Uh, this this right here is now becoming the end of our normal stream session, right? You don't have to go away because we will be doing more. Uh, but 
for for those who just kind of came for the tech talk and, and stuff like that like i'm still more than happy to talk things but uh we'll be transitioning to our cool down which is like a short 20 ish minute segment i'll do at the end of my streams where i do something mindless and not programmy or developy at all just to let my mind clear and so i don't go to bed just thinking about bugs and code and problems right uh today we're gonna be playing a little bit of rocket league like most days because rocket league's a great game um but yeah so uh please stick around uh, but if you don't, if you want to go catch someone else who's who's doing some proper, proper development work, I feel bad. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking me out. Hopefully you follow. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully you catch me next time. Uh, for those who are leaving, uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting around 8 p.m. Pacific. So hopefully that lines up with you. And you can catch me next time.